Good afternoon, Sky Divas. I hope everyone is doing well today. Don't talk about me. Long night. I slept so good. I'm here in Chicago Midway. Um, before we begin, please subscribe or share. Um, just don't talk about me because can if you notice, I have on one eyelash. I pulled off the other one in my sleep last night. Oh, some people are inboxing me that graduated. Um today so i'm gonna turn that notification off so i can finish this quick video before i have to get dressed yes i was so tired i pulled off one eyelash and that wig and i got in the bed and i had to be downstairs um at 2 20 so it's like a little after one right now i'll get myself together in a minute but um this video is going to be about selecting insurance. So a lot of you have um, recently graduated and some of you are so young, you still been on your parents' um, health insurance benefits that you don't know how to select your own. And now you're officially an adult <laughs> and you're about to select your own insurance now. So I just want to give you a little um, insight on that. Um, before I became a flight attendant, I worked in the medical insurance field um, for over 26 years at major hospitals, emergency rooms, doctor's offices, or what have you. So I'm very well versed on the benefits selection. So if you have any questions after this video, inbox me, message me on Instagram or whatever. If you're friends with me on Facebook or follow me from any of the um, flight attendant groups or what have you, if you have any specific questions pertaining to your particular needs, I will do my best to try to help you. And if I can't, I will get someone that can. Now, mind you, everyone's benefits can be different or will be different because everybody's situation is different. So even though we work for the same company and we may select the same plan, the amount of money that's going to come out of your check for your benefits is going to be different from the next person, depending on what you select. All right. So our company offers a um, CDHP basic and a value and a CDHP is a consumer driven, driven health plan and they also offer a PPO plan. Now, the cheaper plans are the CDHPs, basic and um, value. Once you are able to enroll, you'll be able to see the dollar amount per paycheck, which is semi-monthly, because we get paid on the 7th and the 22nd, of how much will come out of your paycheck just for the plan itself. So if you choose the CDHP plan, I believe that the CDHP has a $1,400 deductible, an annual deductible. And it can range from, I think, anywhere, if it's just you, um, no family, just you, $80 or some change per pay period for the um, basic. And I think it's like maybe $50 or something like that, give or take per paycheck for the value. Now with the deductible, you have a $1,400 annual deductible that you, the patient, the employee, have to pay out of pocket or meet before the insurance company will pay their 80% and then you're still responsible for the 20%. That doesn't mean that every time you go to the doctor, you gotta just give them $1,400 up front. That means when you go to the doctor, you're going to have to pay for that visit or that service until you personally have paid $1,400 out of your own pocket before the insurance says, okay, you've met your obligation, now we're going to meet our obligation. So since you have contributed $1,400 of your money for your health care, we are now going to pay 80% of whatever charges you incur, and you're gonna pay 20% until you meet your out-of-pocket, okay? Um, so if you schedule, um, an appointment, say, 
to go see your dermatologist, right? They're gonna verify your insurance, make sure that you are in network, and they're going to say, okay, you haven't met your deductible, so today's visit is $150. You're gonna have to pay $150. Now, once, say you went to mm, the hospital and you had to have a MRI done, you know, MRIs are very expensive into the thousands of dollars, right? So they can ask you to pay $1,400 because an MRI is going to be well over $2,000. Um, but guess what? You would have met your deductible for the rest of the year. So that means anything else that you go to, you're just going to be paying 20%, right? Now, some doctor's offices will ask you to pay the 20% up front. My question to them is when they try me like that is, well, how do you know what my 20% is going to be? You haven't billed my insurance company. You don't know what my contractual, um, my contractual discount is. So how do you know what my portion is going to be? Because you have to bill my insurance. They have to apply their discounts and, um, and then they tell you what my portion is. So how can you ask me up front for 20% of something that you don't know what's going to be? And some of them have a set fee um, schedule, a set fee rate that they automatically charge. Um, and they want they just want some money up front because typically a lot of people go to the doctor and they just don't pay their medical bills. And so that's just their way of getting their money up front. And then they'll tell you, well, if you pay more than what your insurance says that you have to pay, then you'll just have a credit or we'll refund you. I don't like that at all. So since I come from that field, I, I, I always question that. You know, I look at my medical bills. I look at my explanation of benefits. I have the app on my phone that I log into with United Healthcare and I track my doctor's appointments and I see what they paid and anything that I pay at the doctor's office I keep my receipts and I compare them because they're not about to be getting all my coins and not giving me my money back but that's just me so anyway um so that's the CDHP you will have a deductible to meet the coverage is 80 20 and depending on um, your needs um, they do offer, the CDHP offers an HSA account. An HSA is a health savings account. So you contribute pre-tax dollars to this account um, to help pay for medical expenses. And um, what that means is they'll give you a debit card. Um, my wallet is not near me, but I could show you because this past year I had an HSA account. So I contributed, I believe, what was the max, whatever that max was. It could have been $2,900 for the year. But doesn't mean the card is going to come with $2,900 on it. That means you get 24 paychecks in a year, right? So if you divide 24 into 2,900, then you can kind of figure out how much money is going to come out of your check to go on that card every paycheck. Then you can use that money to pay your doctor's visits, eye doctor, dentist, um, prescriptions, deductibles, or whatever. But like, I think my card, I think $125 comes out of my account, um, comes out of my paycheck every two weeks, every, you know, paycheck that goes to that card. And when I tell you I use every bit of that money, so um, it doesn't go to waste. Now, the difference between an HSA and an FSA, which is a flexible spending account, is that your HSA money travels with you, goes wherever you go, you keep it. So all this money that's coming out of your account, if you don't never go to the doctor, that money is still on that card and it's for you to use and you can use it next year, the next year. If you leave um, the company and go to another company, that's, th that's your money you can use that towards your medical bills, period. So for a lot of the young kids, and you don't go to the doctor, but to have your annual exam, and that's it, you don't get sick, 
you can probably choose one of those basic plans, the cheaper plans, because you don't go to the doctor, you don't see a specialist, you don't have any issues, any concerns, you just go to the doctor because you got a cold or you got the pink eye or something like that. And then you can get the HSA and if you want to contribute $1,400 for the year, that way if you do get sick or something does happen major, at least you have your deductible. The $1,400 will go, you know, you'll be contributed to your deductible. But remember, it's per pay period. And it's 80-20, right? So the other option is the PPO. PPO means preferred provider organization, means that you will see a doctor that is in the PPO plan, the PPO network. The, deduct the deductible is less, it's $500 a year. It's still 80-20. You have a $20 copay for doctor's offices. You have a $30 copay for specialists. Specialists meaning like, um, a dermatologist, a cardiologist, or a rheumatoidologist, you know, those are specialists. Um, your prescriptions can range anywhere from $10 up to $50. Um, it just depends on what tier. There's three tiers, tier one, two, and three. And that just depends on what um, doctor, um, what tier they fall under, how much your prescription is, could be. But again, you can get a flexible spending account card, FSA, and you can put money on that card. And I think it's $2,700 is the max that you can go for the year. Divide that by 24 payments, and that's how much is going to come out of your check every pay period. And they also give you a card that that money comes on the card. $2,700 comes on the card, and you can use that to pay for your doctor's visits, for your um, prescriptions, or what have you. Now this year, I am changing back to the PPO plan. My first year did the PP, PPO, then the next year I did the um, HSA, and now I'm going back to a PPO. Why? It's because this past year, 2019, I already caught up with my doctor's appointments, I already seen my specialist, I already got everything under control. But next year, I need to have some major dental work. And dental work is expensive. Yes, we have dental insurance, and I did opt in for dental insurance and vision. But dental insurance is I mean, dental work, even with insurance, is expensive as crap. And I have to have some major dental work. So I needed the flexible spending account card. I needed the money to be on the card, not wait until every paycheck for it to come on there. Because when I go to the dentist, I know they're going to ask me for every bit of $2,000 up front. So I needed that card so that I can... Um, get my dental work done um and that's for me that's the only reason why i chose the ppo plan this year so that i could get um the flexible spending account um card um what else i need to go back and just double check something I'm going to get back to you all because I'm going to go back in and I'm going to double check if I could have gotten the CDHP plan and still gotten the FSA instead of the HSA. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that because that is a cheaper plan. But my, um, my, my pay for monthly went up. From this year, it went up mm, maybe $40. Maybe $40 difference for me choosing a PPO from a, a CDHP. That's my wake-up call. But, um, dang it. Yes? Yep, that's my wake-up call. So, um, 
I'm going to double check on that because I probably clicked too fast and um, probably should have read a little bit more um, from what I was thinking. But I'm going to see. I'm going to double check on that because if I could still keep my CDHP, even though it has a higher deductible, the premium is cheaper. And I think I have until November 1st to change it. So I can change it and then get the and still keep my flexible spending account and just not get the HSA. That way it'll go down just a little bit more because I don't need to go to the doctor um, like I did last year. And um, it's just me, but I do have my kids on my dental and my vision. They're not on my medical because they have medical insurance, but I always keep them on my dental and my vision because now they're double covered by both my plan and the father's plan. Um, like my son, he plays basketball. He's always losing contacts. So you can only get contacts. Um, um, you can only, you know, we got a year supply, but he goes through a year supply. So when he, if he runs out, he can use his dad's insurance to get some more contacts. But what he did was he used my insurance to get contacts and he used his dad's insurance to get his glasses because with our insurance you have one or the other either you get contacts or you're getting glasses and also you only get new glasses every I think it's two years and so I just got new glasses but I just got new contacts um, for this year what else um, I believe that is it and I'm gonna double check on that I need to get dressed and then when I get home tonight, I'll go back in and review my benefits again. But if you have any questions regarding choosing your benefits, you need to just choose what's best for you. If you're someone that's sickly, you see specialists, you have allergy injections, you have specialists you gotta go to, dermatologists, rheumatologists, whatever, then look at the plan that's beneficial to you if you're someone that don't go to the doctor at all then choose the cheap plan and get them put a few dollars on your hsa card so when you go to the doctor you have the money to pay for the visit or whatever also we offer virtual doctors like virtual benefits where you can see a doctor virtually like on the phone like this here and I think it's like $50 a visit. So if you get sick out of town somewhere and you need some cold medicine or some cough syrup, whatever, you can log in and see a doctor virtually, pay $50. If you have a flexible spending account on HSA, you can use that to pay for it. And the doctor can send your prescription to wherever you're at. And you don't have to go into the doctor if you can't take off. So that's another thing that, that we do. We also have what they call Rally, which is a... Um, you don't have to sign up for it, but they give you like gift cards and um, and stuff for like completing tasks. Like I need to do my annual physical. And once I do that and submit my glucose and my blood pressure and all that, then I think I get a gift card for like $100. You get to choose whichever gift card you want. I usually just choose the vanilla card, give you $100 and it's virtual. They email it to you. I just send that over to my son and like, hey, here's $100 and let him use it for whatever he needs to use it for or my daughter or what have you. But check into Raleigh is really good. Um, I remember I signed up and I got a weight scale. I got um, a scale to measure my food. Um, they give discounts on Fitbits and stuff like that. And it's just an overall health thing. It helps you, gives you a health coach if you want a health coach to help you with nutrition. It's wonderful. It is amazing. Um, what else? I believe that's it. If you have any questions, um, choosing um, a plan, I'm here. Anyway, guys, take care.